all to be the phenomenon. In the space of six years, he'd gone from being a raw novice to going in with one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. Join me on the watch party where you can join us. You can get voting on live polls, which we'll be showing. You can be asking us questions, which I'm gonna ask the fighters and get involved with the vibes. You know what I'm on? Ruthless. The UEFA Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Adidas.
we go then. Chelsea up against BK Hecken in the Champions League. Teams coming out on the pitch here at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea looking to bounce back after losing to rivals Arsenal on Sunday. But it's the Champions League that Chelsea manager Emma Hayes desperately wants to get her hands on. The one trophy that has eluded her very successful spell at Chelsea. This season, her last chance as she goes on to manage the US national women's team in the summer. The visitors, Hecken, are alongside Barcelona and Lyon as the only sides to take maximum points so far in the group stages. Illustrious company indeed. Players from both sides lining up for the epic Champions League anthem ringing round Stamford Bridge. Cool evening here in West London. These players from Sweden, they'll be used to this cold weather. Chelsea, good form at home, whether that's at Stamford Bridge or Kings Meadow, where they play the majority of their league games. They've won the last 10 home matches, the last defeat back in April, and that was the semi-final Champions League game against Barcelona, who went on to win the competition. So team news then, Chelsea, they make five changes from Sunday after that loss. Change of goalkeeper, Musovic starts instead of Berger. She'll be a familiar face to many of the Swedish players that play for Hecken. A return to the starting 11 also for Guru Raiten. Her first start since early October, she's been out with injury. Frank Kirby, Buchanan and Ingle also come into the team. And the captain and top goal scorer, Sam Kerr, leads the line. Our referee for this evening, Esther Stabuli. And the team news from the away side then. So Hecken make two changes from their previous match against Real Madrid. Canadian Clarissa Larsi is preferred to 16-year-old Felicia Schroeder up front. And Foster Lassa Sorensen starts in place of Kermak in the middle, who misses today through illness. The player to watch out for, though, is Rosa Kafaji, player of the match in the previous two games. They're a young talent in the number 10 position for the away side. The UEFA Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Adidas. Millie Bright, she's out with a knee injury, so Kerr captains the side. She's a top goal scorer for Chelsea this season with seven goals. One of the top goal scorers in the Champions League as well, alongside Diani from Lyon. Scored a hat-trick in her last Chelsea match, Sam Kerr. She's a player that these Hecken players will have watched, done their research on to try and stop her this evening. So Swedish goalkeepers in both sets of goals this evening. Musovic, Chelsea's goalkeeper, Falk, Hecken's goalkeeper. Two players that will be familiar with each other from the international side playing together, both for Sweden. As all the players take the knee ahead of this match show their continued support in the fight against racism. And we're underway then. Chelsea looking to go top of the group. Hecken looking to keep their 100% record in the Champions League going. set capacity today at Stamford Bridge of 5,000. Stadium usually does hold 40,000. It is a 40,000 seat stadium 
reasoning provided by Chelsea for this to ensure the match is financially sustainable. Fans on this near side. As Buchanan goes back to Carter. Wrighton with her first touches on the ball. Good interchange now. Kirby is she in? Stabs it to Kerr. Good clearance, but that just shows you the danger of those three. Wrighton, Kerr and Kirby. Great interchange between the three attackers. So Chelsea with the first corner of this evening. Guru right and the Norwegian over this. Delivers it to the near post. Buchanan tried the little flick on, didn't work. Throw in for Chelsea. Neve Charles. Johanna Ritting Karnered back against her former side. Yet to score for Chelsea in the Champions League. Has scored for them in the league, though, scored on the weekend in that 4 1 loss to Arsenal. Didn't get too much game time in the first season with Chelsea, but this second season, Ritting Karnered is really growing into this team, becoming a key, key part of it. Charles's ball is intercepted. Lovely dink down the line. Kafaji can't keep it in. Sophie Ingle. It's a loose touch from Sam Kerr. And Hecken will try and break. They can have kept the ball well here. Intercepted though by Sam Kerr and Chelsea can't make the most of it. Let's go through the full team lineups for you then. So Chelsea. In goal is Musovic, as they're coming forward. Into Kirby, Kirby tries to slide it across goal, and it just whispers wide. Hurt herself in the process, Frank Kirby. Troubling sign for all Chelsea fans to see Frank Kirby gesturing to the bench. Nice little ball around the corner for her. Just fell on her knee awkwardly. In this break in play, then, let me just give you the full Chelsea line. So, Musovic in goal, back four from left to right of Charles, Carter, Buchanan and Perese. Two midfielders in front of that defence, Ingle and Cuthbert. Then Wrighton on the left, Ritting, Carnered on the right, Kirby in the hole and Sam Kerr, captain, top scorer, leading the line. For the away side, Falk in, go in goal. A back four of Kosala, Rebrink, Luke. And then also Elma Jutelina Nelhag. Just in front of those four. Two central midfielders Bergman Lunden and Foss Dalsa Sorensen. And then Rosa Kafaji, their star player, just behind the striker. Lassie up top. And then the two forward wide players, Sandberg on the left and Anvergaard on the right. Lauren James warming up. If Frank Kirby can't continue, she'll be the one to come on.
Frank Kirby, a really important player for Chelsea and for England, but she's really suffered with injuries, different types of injuries and health problems over the past couple of years. Hopefully this is just a, a knock or a dead leg. We'll see though, she walks around the pitch and have to come on when the ref's ready. Corner's taken them. Again, that same move, playing it to the near post. And Kadisha Buchanan going for the flick on. So a third Chelsea corner. Early pressure from the home side. Similar delivery, that's cleared at the near post, though. Kosala clears down the line. Good interception from Sophie Ingle and Frank Kirby back on the pitch, looking like she's going to be OK. Great to see. Kosala clears again. And Heck can come forward down this left-hand side. Isn't kept in, though. Emma Hayes, ahead of this game, spoke about how organised Hecken are in this 4-1, 4-1. They're quick on the break, quick in transition, those attacking players. With Rosa Cafardi at the centre. Very talented. Carter to Charles, two players who have started every single Chelsea game so far this season. Good ball through to Wrighton, slid through to Samka, offside flag is up against the Australian. Free kick for Hecken. Just took an extra touch too many and Kerr had already made the run. That's a poor clearance. Gets another bite of the cherry, though. Kept him well by Ritting Karnered. And Chelsea have another corner. Early stages, but lots of Chelsea corners. Hacking yet to have a touch in the Chelsea box so far, I believe. Samka with the volley, just wide. Hecken have got to do better there defensively. You can't allow a player like Samka, a free volley from a corner. Just ran away from a marker. Lassie will chase down Musovic. Chelsea comfortable playing around the back. Breaks for Wrighton. First time through ball for Kerr. Falk is out of her box quick, though. Sweeper keeper. Picked up by Ritting Karnered. Square to Ingle. Ingle with the loose pass. Quite a few loose passes from Chelsea players so far. Wrighton into Charles. Good interchange with Kerr. Charles with the effort. Can only find the side netting. Chelsea growing into this game.
Lovely little interchange here with Sam Kerr. Neve Charles, a player that predominantly plays in a defensive position for Chelsea, left back, which is a player that can play on either wing. Really versatile player. It's really grown under the management and stewardship of Emma Hayes. Again, Chelsea win it back with Cuthbert. Cuthbert slides it into Guru Wrighton. Good save by Falk. Best chance of the game. Wrighton a little bit rusty in front of goal. Lassie will chase this up against Carter. Good strength from the Chelsea centre half. Another loose pass from Chelsea. I feel Emma Hayes will be frustrated with some of the lackadaisical passing from the Chelsea side so far. Lots of passes going astray. Good pressure, though, from Chelsea, not letting the Swedish side play out from the back. Picked up well by the Scott Cuthbert. Perise receives the ball back, French international. Good build up from Chelsea. The away side though, defending deep, organised in that 4-1, 4-1 structure. Carter switches it out to this left side. Charles into Sam Kerr. Good one touch. Passing from Chelsea, and they win the corner. Luke, the 38 year old Australian centre half for Hecken. Oldest player on the pitch this evening. Nearly twice the age of some of these younger players in her side. What can Chelsea do from this corner then? This time it's swung in deep. Header comes in. Buchanan with the header. Can't guide it goalwards. Another Chelsea centre-half that's been struggling with injury past year or so. Signed from PSG, Buchanan. Had a key partnership with Millie Bright all of last season. Millie Bright out with injury at the moment. Buchanan slotting in alongside Jess Carter at the heart of the Chelsea defence. I can try and play it out. It's good strength. Cuthbert left on the floor. That long ball, though, is impossible for the striker to get on to. Musevic just delaying on the ball. Lovely ball round the corner from Kirby. Gets this Chelsea attack started. Right, right in space. Trying to find the run of Kerr there. Guru right and intercepted. Chelsea so quick to press. Not allow Hecken to have the ball, play it out. This is better from Hecken. Great through ball. Larissi bearing down on goal. Got Carter for company. Her shot's a tame one in the end. Easy to collect for Zachira Musevic. Better from the away side, though. Kafaji with the through ball.
And that's what they want to do, Hecken. They want to play on the counter, play on the break. It's broken for them here as well now. Buchanan steps across, though, just to nick the ball off Anvergaard. Gafaji does well under the pressure of Cuthbert, receives the ball back. Pulling the strings in the centre of the park for the visitors. Ball hitting towards the Chelsea penalty area. Good clearance from Buchanan. And it will be a Chelsea throw in. Matt Lind. BK Hacken manager had to come in halfway through the season. Their manager Robert Villaham left to go manage Tottenham Hotspur in the WSL. Opening stages, the game set up. Much how we expected. Chelsea dominating possession. Hecken looking danger, dangerous on the counter. Chelsea throw in. Not enough on that pass from Wrighton. Frank Kirby. Cuthbert again for Chelsea. Her ball into the box. Catching practice for Falk. She opts for the long ball. Brought down well by Perisay. Jess Carter played every minute of every Chelsea game so far this season. Only player to do so. Buchanan will pick it up for Chelsea. Out to Charles. Perise combining well with Ritting Carnered. The one two doesn't come off though from Sam Kerr. A reminder in the earlier games today, Paris FC beat Real Madrid by two goals to one. It ended one all between Bayern Munich and Ajax. And in the other eight PM kickoff, it's still Paris Saint Germain nil, Roma nil. Sandberg loses possession. Another Chelsea corner. Chelsea have had plenty of corners, not done too much with them just yet, though. What can they do from this one? Swung in, meets the, the head of Sam Kerr. Some weak shouts for a penalty for handball.
throw in for Hecken. Anvergaard heads it on well. Kafaji now. Motoring forward, didn't take the full winner though. And Cuthbert nicks it back. Look at that compact defensive structure from Hecken. Make it so hard to break them down. Ball put into the channel for Kerr. Good play by the Australian. Tries to square it to Frank Irby. The pass doesn't come off, and that's been the story so far of the evening for Chelsea, and particularly Sam Kerr. Pass is just not quite right. Good header, though, into Kirby. She's got it back again. The shot blocked. And the goalkeeper will prevent the corner. Kafaji tries to feed it through to Sandberg. Perise, good positioning. Wrighton's done well there. Receives it back from Kirby. Guru Wrighton now in the box. Again finds Kirby. Shouts of shoot, she doesn't do so. Cuthbert does, that's blocked. Ritten Carnered. Beaten Sandberg. Another Chelsea corner. Playing against her former side, Ritten Carnered, side that will always be close to her heart, she said, before the game. Seven corners then for Chelsea. Midway through this first half, their best chance coming from a Wrighton shot on goal. As this corner comes in, it's not the best. Laresi will clear. Kafaji can't get it under control. Chelsea still have players forward in the box. Sandberg's done really well there. It's not going to go out of play, though. As yeah, she wins her side, the goal kick. Salah dispossessed. Chelsea not getting that pass right in the final third still. You do feel though it will click at some point. Kirby in a little pocket of space. Twenty minutes remaining of this first half. Chelsea nil, Hecken nil. Chelsea struggling to break down this deep defensive block. And Chelsea's next fixture in this competition is away at Hecken in Gothenburg. They do not have good memories of Gothenburg, Chelsea. That was where they played in their first ever Champions League final some years ago and they lost that to Barcelona four goals to nil traumatic night for Chelsea 
And next week they'll be back in Gothenburg to face tonight's opponents again. It's a poor clearance from the goalkeeper and Charles picks it up. Wrighton. Kerr can't keep hold of it. Anvergaard does well there. Hecken on the attack. Good defensive attacking challenge from Buchanan. Stepping out of her hole to snuff out the danger. Musevic nearly catching that clearance on incoming striker. Hecken can't hold on to it. Kerr feeds it through to Cuthbert. She's got right into her left. Plays it into right and Guru right and back across goal. Chelsea not score there. That effort rattled the bar. Looked like it was so close to going in. Excellent play from Guru Wrighton. Cuthbert plays it out to where you think she's going to shoot. Cuts it back for Cuthbert, who's volleyed effort. Struck the crossbar. Really nice Chelsea move. No goal to show for it. Really clever pass from Guru Wrighton. Rebrink hurt in the follow up after that. Closest Chelsea have come this evening. And looking at that, it's, it's not it's not over the line. No goal. Very, very close though. Buchanan. Buchanan again. The Canadian international goes back to our goalkeeper. Applying the high press, can only force a goal kick. Anne Vergard on your screen just then. In her second season with Hecken, after signing in the summer of 2022 from Everton. Scored 10 goals in the league last season for them. Picked up by Luke. Forward ball brought down well by Ambergard. Gets an applause from her manager. Hecken very much holding their own in this game. Quality through ball there from Cuthbert. And again, a loose pass from Sam Kerr. Her passing's been all off this evening. Got the range all wrong. Ambergard. Hecken coming forward. Good tackle from the flying Scotswoman, Erin Cuthbert. All action midfielder. minutes remaining of this first half. Elsewhere, still PSG nil, Roman nil. 
of a Women's Champions League game this evening. Carter. Comes under pressure from Ambergard. And they've got possession now. Kosala. That's well, a poor touch though. Sanka bearing down on goal. She's got the goalkeeper retreating. Plays it across the box. Ritting Carter in. Squares it to Kirby. Flag is up. For offside. Free kick for Hecken. Sam Kerr did well to win the ball back. Fine, Ritting Carner it. Oh, we hear her hand in the build up. Not an offside. Handball. Unfortunate, bobbled up awkwardly. Not deliberate, but it's the hand nonetheless. Chelsea's attack starting to flourish. They're getting in the right spaces, getting opportunities. It's Charles now in the box. Can she keep it in? No, she can't. Goal kick. Ambergard up against Carter. Forced all the way back to Rebrink. Ambergard again. <laughs> Cuthbert slides it forward to Wrighton. Nice run on the blind side of the defender from Sam Kerr. Just went a little touch too early offside. A fraction offside, Sam Kerr. Sandberg can't keep the ball in. Not seen too much from her down this left-hand flank. Perez has kept her quiet so far. Key attacking player for them, Sandberg. <laughs> Cuthbert looking for the run of Kirby. Falk is off her line quick, though, always. Really constricting the space happening in their own half. Charles gets away from Kosalar. Her pass intercepted. Chelsea still have it, though. I can imagine Chelsea have recorded lots of touches in the final third. Lots of final third and penalty box entries. Need to just make the most of those chances that they're getting. Perise. Throwing for Chelsea as we approach the final 10 minutes of this first half. Still goalless here at Stamford Bridge. Hack and clear. The experienced Sophie Ingall on the ball. Her 199th appearance for Chelsea, one shy of 200. Such an experienced player. Welsh international as well. Been a key cog in that Chelsea midfield for years now. It's felt like decades. Chelsea free kick. taken before the referee was ready.
of Perisse. Over the set piece then. Centre backs are forward. Perisse with the delivery. Sam Kerr tries to head it back across goal. Flicks it into a dangerous area. Hecken struggling to clear. Charles does so for them, but ensures her side maintain possession. Bit of head tennis. Can Buchanan latch onto this? Cut out by Rubrink. Chelsea will have to build once again. They've lost it here, though. Kafaji has the ball robbed off her, though, by Ritten Karnered. Well played from Jess Carter there. Looks a little bit exasperated. They're looking to her teammates to say, where's the option for the pass? Buchanan. Straight pass into Kerr. Kerr tries to pass a player, dispossessed. Sandberg into Kafaji. Back and slow down their build up. Frank Kirby, nutmeg there. Never want that to happen to you as a player. Heck and throw in. I suspect Hecken manager Mac Lind will be quite pleased with his side's performance so far. They've looked very sturdy defensively, very compact, very organised. They've not threatened really going forward, but you can see the shoots of attacks building. Buchanan plays square. And Chelsea lose the ball. Cuthbert winning possession in the middle of the park, as she so often does for Chelsea. Winning her duel. And Emma Hayes said that ahead of the game. Chelsea need to win their individual duels. That's something that was lacking on Sunday in that loss to Arsenal. Players were losing the individual battles, the one-on-one -on -one battles with their opponent. And if you're doing that, it's, it's difficult as a team to get anything from a game. Goalless here as we approach the final five minutes, as it is in the other 8 pm Champions League kickoff. Paris Saint Germain nil, Roma nil. Cuthbert looking to make something happen, finds Kerr. Kerr dispossessed. Kosala on the overlap, she's got it. Tries to play the ball into the box. Leracy can't latch onto it. Kosala will pick it up again. Decides to go back. Kosala with the delivery. Plays it to Ambergard, who got the first time volley off. Didn't trouble Musevic, but a shot on target. And Hecken will build from that. Ritting Karnered. On her travels, plays it square to Ingle. Ingle into right and round the corner for Charles. Look at that tight defensive line. Yellow shirts into Kerr. Kerr back to Cuthbert. So many yellow shirts in the box. 
But Sam Kerr gets to the header first. And again, no power or draw. Direction away from the goalkeeper, though. An e easy catch for Falk. You'd suspect Kerr to do a little bit better from that initial header. Directed goal was headed it up more than towards the goal. Didn't quite connect as she'd have liked. Ingle now. Ritten Carnerid with the through ball, which will be safely collected by the goalkeeper. He went to pass to a captain, then on second thoughts, thought, oh, I'll pick it up actually. Get my player, get my team up the pitch. Buchanan brings it down nicely. Great turn from Wrighton. Neve Charles now on the edge of the box. Goes down to the challenge from Anne Vergard. Referee says a fair challenge play on. Chelsea still have it there with Carter. Ingle into Sam Kerr. The Chelsea will build slowly. And Kosala tries to see that out for a corner. She can't do so. But she's done well to get away from Charles. Wins the free kick. Good battle between these two down this left-hand side. Booze from the Chelsea fans. Not pleased with that free kick. Katrina Kosala, Finnish player, scored in that 2-1 win against Real Madrid, scored the winning goal. Charles with the throw in then for Chelsea. Final minutes of this first half. Sandberg. Nice dinked ball forward to Laresi. Good defensive play though from Buchanan. She's been feeding off scraps really all evening. Clarissa Laresi. Difficult as a lone striker. And you've got a little support around you against a really experienced and strong back line as well. Cuthbert manages to find Ritting Carnerid. Green turf to run into. Her ball into the box, cut out. She gets a second go, looped straight into the arms of the goalkeeper. A reminder that the other game in this group, Paris versus Real Madrid, has already finished. That started earlier. That finished Paris FC 2, Real Madrid 1. Sophie Ingle then, with the long ball for Wrighton. Heavy touch from the Norwegian. Ball gets away from her. I suspect there'll be a bit of a chunk of additional time. Yeah, three minutes. That time put on for that moment at the start, very start of the game when Frank Kirby had to get a bit of treatment from the physio after falling awkwardly on her knee. She's been all right for the rest of this 45, though. Charles strides away from a yellow shirt, plays it into the box at the back stick. Is Wrighton out for another Chelsea corner? Must be on double figures now for corners, Chelsea. Great play by Charles, just drifts past her player. Put the afterburners on. Real pace. They have Perisay over the corner for Chelsea then. 
in additional time at the end of this first half. Ball swung in near post. Header comes on from Sam Kerr. And Kirby couldn't stab it home. Flags up for an infringement anyway. Again, near post. And it's Kirby who's offside. Kerr's dropped deep to collect the ball. Finds Ritten Karnered. Ball delivered into the box, good delivery cleared. And Hackham will be looking to go into the break with the score as is, nil-nil. Done well this first half to shut out Chelsea. That looks like a painful one for Buchanan. Awkward challenge, really. Referee just coming over to have a word. No yellow card brandished, though. A sliding challenge from behind is never great. Was trying to get the ball, didn't get there. Loressi. Perisse plays it into the box, flicked on by Charles, straight into the gloves of the Swedish goalkeeper. And we've played the three minutes. And there is the half-time whistle then. At the break, it is goalless between Chelsea and Hecken. Chelsea, not their fluid so far in attack, Hecken defending very well, very structured, a deep block, Chelsea trying to unpick it, best chance of the half, Cuthbert striking the crossbar, rattling the bar, but at the break it's Chelsea nil, Hecken nil. The UEFA Women's Champions League. Sponsored by EA Sports FC and Adidas. Peloton is more than a bike. It makes strength, boxing, or maybe yoga your new thing. It turns a run into a pretty epic workout. Just maybe not today. It's a calming word when you need it most. To begin to relax. And if you need a quick break, it's your perfect escape. It makes working out, watch this, work out for everyone. This is Peloton.
Sliding strong, wow. Turn around and stick it up, wow, wow. Fine, fine specimen, wow. Drop it down, I'll pick it up, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Drop it down, I'll pick it up, wow, wow. Wow. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Drop it down, I'll pick it up, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Wow. It's very difficult just to turn on that smile, but it's gold. I think my story, I'm very aware of how lucky I am. I've grown up in a you know, really passionate football family. I started playing football when I was six, local boys team. Went on to play for Russian and Diamonds girls, which uh, like a centre of excellence. So I've been really lucky to have been in the system, so to speak, the whole way through. And yeah, from nine, age of nine, signed for Arsenal. And, Still there, they can't get rid of me. Yeah, we didn't want to make you blue. <laughs> I was thinking, I, I can't can't remember. One, one here. Yeah. I'm Leah Williamson, I play for Arsenal in England. Highlights from this first half then between Chelsea and BK Hecken. Chelsea had a chance early on in the first three minutes. Kirby combining well with Ritting Karnered. And her shot just whispering wide. Chelsea had plenty of corners in that first half. Sam Kerr latching onto one of them. Unable to direct her shot goalwards, though. And Charles, who's been in an ever-present danger down that left hand side, could only find the side netting when getting in the box. Good interchange between Charles and Kirby. Nice running and footwork from the English international. Chelsea really dominating in these early stages and Guru right and through on goal. Couldn't chip it over the on-rushing goalkeeper, much to the disappointment of coach Emma Hayes. Hecken had few chances really going forward. The one chance falling to their striker, Laresi. Could only attempt the tame shot straight at the goalkeeper. A lovely through ball though from Rosa Kafaji to find the Canadian international. Just couldn't get the pace to power past Carter. And then the best chance of that first half Started by Cuthbert and then finished by Cuthbert. Right in with the intelligence played across the box. Cuthbert smacking it against the upright and they couldn't get the follow up.
Great play from Cuthbert and a really intelligent ball from Wrighton to instead of shooting to play it square to Cuthbert. Cuthbert's shot hitting the bar. The closest Chelsea came in that first half. A look at the statistics then from that first half. As you can see, Chelsea very dominant in possession, 68% possession. Total attempts, 10 to Heckens, 2. But they've only managed to get two of those attempts on target. Chelsea misfiring somewhat in attack, not looking their usual attacking might. At half time, Chelsea nil, Hecken nil. Second half coming up very shortly. to Liga FA. Sit back and enjoy. Look at this. That is tremendous. Oh, the left footer shot as he's done the corner. That's a superb goal. Kids, uh, there you go. Look. Sliding strong, wow. Turn around and stick it up, wow, wow. Fine, fine specimen, wow. Drop it down, I'll pick it up, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Drop it down, I'll pick it up, wow, wow. Wow. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Drop it down, I'll pick it up, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Wow. Peloton is more than a bike. It makes strength, boxing, or maybe yoga your new thing. It turns a run into a pretty epic workout. Just maybe not today. It's a calming word when you need it most. Begin to relax. And if you need a quick break, it's your perfect escape. It makes working out work out for everyone. This is Peloton. Incisive pass, Vinicius Jr. And on to Bellingham. for Women's Champions League.
Sponsored by EA Sports FC and Adidas. Welcome back to second half commentary of Chelsea, BK Hecken at Stamford Bridge. First 45 minutes, Chelsea dominated, lacked the clinical edge. Substitution then for the away side. Yusa Bar coming on, replacing Sandberg. 20-year-old attacker coming in for Hecken, who lacked much attacking threat really in that first half we didn't see much from rosa kafaji player that's been tipped to be picked up at some point maybe by a big european side she's a real talent hecken need to get her in the game this evening though it's chelsea that will get us back underway sophie ingle experienced midfielder as chelsea look to go top of the group in this Champions League early stages. A chant of champions of England. We know what we are from Chelsea. They certainly are champions of England. Won it four years in a row. Cuthbert now on the attack for Chelsea. Got shot all wrong. Shanks it out of play. Did well to win the ball back though, Cuthbert. Just got under the ball. I wonder what... Chelsea manager Emma Hayes would have said to her side at the break. They're really pressing Hecken in from this goal kick. I can do well to fire it forward though. Good play. Buchanan's nicked it back. So solid in the challenge. But her ball down the line is going to roll to the edge of the line, not go out, kept in by Hecken. Again, Buchanan, always there for Chelsea at the back. Chelsea building. Kerr on the edge of the box. Her pass finds a yellow shirt rather than a blue. Ambergard tries to feed it through, but Buchanan, but Carter, sorry, but Carter and Buchanan are both there. Carter goes back to the goalkeeper. And the second half begins much as the first did. Chelsea dominating the ball. Lots of touches in the final third. But that final, that final ball, that final moment to create a goal scoring action, just not coming off for the Blues so far. Charles, space to run into. Finds captain Sam Kerr. Drifts in field. Scored a hat trick in her last Champions League game, Sam Kerr. She's a player that can be having a, a poor game or, or not be in it and then just can come alive. Nick a goal. Good interception by the substitute, Yusu Bar. She's striding forward now. Goes past Buchanan. Great play from the young forward. Buchanan did just enough, but has to concede the corner. That's why she's been brought on, Yusu Bar. Great running. Great direct attacking play. And wins that corner as well. Macklin substitutes doing 
what he wants of her. Amvergaard over the corner. It's an in-swinger. Chelsea clear. And Buchanan with the secondary clearance. Salah with the throw in. It's Hecken that have it in the middle of the park. Rebrind goes long. A little bit too much on that ball, perhaps. No. Right and does manage to keep it in. No, she doesn't. She's outraged at that, Guru Wrighton. Did that 20, 30 yard sprint for nothing. Jusu Bar. Chelsea nick it back. This is better. Cuthbert to the edge of the, the box. Loose pass again. Hecken, Kafaji can't get it under control. Player of the match in both of Hecken's previous games. Rosa Kafaji, one to watch, young player. Top goal scorer in the league, last season's league for Hecken. Got 12 as they're coming forward now. It's a good moment for them. Effort comes in from Angervard. Kirby picks it up. Moving through the thirds, finds Sam Kerr. She returns the ball around the corner. Chelsea go back and allow the yellow shirts to flood back into their deep structure. Frank Kirby trying to find space for a shot. Ingle now. Jusu Bar with the clearance. Kafati does well. Plays it back to the striker. Just gave himself too much to do there. Buchanan had three or four yards on her. She's a pacey player, Jusu Bar, but she wasn't going to get past the Canadian international there. Johanna Rittinkana is not going to latch on to that one. And still Chelsea's passing range all off this evening. Ball's not got quite enough on them or a bit over hit. So unusual from a side like Chelsea. They did suffer that big loss against Arsenal on Sunday. We expect them to come out guns blazing in this game. But they've been a bit tentative. All that matters, though, is the points. If they can get the win here, they will go top of the group. Kosalar coming forward for Hecken. Into Laresi. Finds Amvergaard. This is good play from the away side. They run into the brick like wall that is Sophie Engel. And Vergaard will try and nick this back off Charles, though. She's done well. Wins a throw for her side as well. 
tenacious play. Amvergaard back to Kosala and the flag is up. Four offside. Wasted opportunity there for the away side. And Charles will leave that for Musovic. Swedish goalkeeper. Had a very, very good World Cup campaign for her side. Played a big part in putting the USA out of the competition as Chelsea attack again. Again, they slow it down and go back. They've switched out to this right-hand side, Rissing Karnered. Come back to the Swedish international, the former Hacken player. Kirby on the half turn. Slides it through for Ritten Karnered. Nice feet and a good block, though, by Jusu Bar. Chelsea still have it, though. Sam Kerr sets it back to Kirby. Kirby with the chipped effort. Roof of the net. Better from Chelsea. Sam Kerr did well there just to tee up her teammate. Frank Kirby perhaps using the wrong option there, the, the chip. Should have got the driver out. Struck through the ball rather than going for that little chip. Chelsea coming forward again, though. We have Perise. Kirby does well to hold on to it. Hecken back in their defensive structure. Right and through to Charles. Charles with the delivery. Roof of the net again. Had the goalkeeper backpedalling. Despite that loss on Sunday, Chelsea are top of the WSL, vying for a fifth successive league title in a row. But Emma Hayes, who is leaving at the end of the season off to manage the USA women's national side, really wants to get her hands on this competition, the Champions League. She took Chelsea to the final three years ago. They lost that to Barcelona. She wants to go one better this season, get her hands on the trophy. Frank Kirby. Swings the ball towards the back stick, bypasses everyone, out for the goal kick. I wonder what Emma Hayes is thinking right now. She's a manager that is happy to speak her mind. She's very honest, she's very candid. After that Chelsea loss on Sunday, 4-1 loss, she spoke about her team and how they were bullied by Chelsea. And there were very little positives to take. When asked if there were any positives at all to take from that game, her answer was, it's only a 25 minute drive home. Somewhat sarcastic answer from Emma Hayes, but good, she's still got a sense of humor. Nil-nil the score still then. Chelsea unable to pick the lock. That is this Hacken side. A draw would mean Hacken stay top of the group. 
Lovely ball through though. Great save by Fault. Came up quick off the line. Blocked with a leg. Out of nowhere, Chelsea were through. Really good goalkeeping from the Swedish international. And it was Johanna Rissing Karnerud that was through on goal. Great run from deep. Much, much better from Chelsea. It's woken the crowd up a little bit as well. Cuthbert. Out to Charles. Anvagar back doing some defensive work. Does well to prevent the corner. Can see he's throwing instead. Another corner for Chelsea. Shake of the head from Johanna Ritting Karnarid. She knew she had to do better there. Looks like she was a touch offside. Wasn't given though. Really good goalkeeping from Falk. Did really well there. Saved with her leg. Missed some very good saves in the games that the Hecken have played so far in the Champions League. Showing us that was a very valuable goalkeeper. Ball's played into the box. Header comes in off the bar from Sam Kerr. Chelsea strikes the bar again. Sam Kerr this time. How often have we seen the net ripple from a Sam Kerr header? Did really well there. Great header. Unfortunate not to score. Chelsea coming forward again. Sam Kerr in the box, square to Kirby. Receives it back. Shouts of shoot from the Chelsea fans. Getting a little impatient. Suspect that they were hoping for an easy win tonight, Chelsea fans. Looking to get back to winning ways after that loss to Arsenal on the weekend. Very rare you see Chelsea lose two in a row. Or not even win in a row. Rosa Cafaggi here, great play, good feet. Doesn't find the right pass though. Too much in front of Leresi. Ritten Connor into Sam Kerr. Less than 30 minutes to play here at Stamford Bridge. Still Chelsea nil, heck and nil. Cuthbert. Spreads it wide. Hecken defending very deep. In their backs of four. Chelsea trying to break down this side. Guri Wrighton goes past her player. Blocked. Wins the free kick. Just pulled back by Kosala. And this is a nice place for a free kick. Good place to deliver into the box. Brighton and Perese over it. <laughs> Guru Wrighton them with the delivery. It's a good one. The header comes in. And it's wide from Neve Charles. Really good delivery from Guru Wrighton. And we're seeing some substitutions now for Chelsea then. Off comes Aaron Cuthbert. 
She's replaced by Shoka Nuskin, German international, signed from Eintracht Frankfurt over the summer. And big cheers as well. Off comes Johanna Rittinkarnerid to be replaced by Lauren James, number 10 for Chelsea. Her third season after signing from Manchester United, a really key player for Chelsea and for England. Three goals and three assists for England in the World Cup. Six goals so far this season for Chelsea. She is a player that can change a game with a moment of individual brilliance. What can she do here tonight? Perise. Lauren James, first touch on the ball. Being received very warmly by the Chelsea fans here. Will Shoka Niskin trying to nick that back. Hecken coming forward. Kafaji in the middle. Kosella goes alone though. Up against Jess Carter. Jess Carter just holds her ground. Good defensive play. Game's getting a little bit more stretched now. Hecken getting moving out of their structure as they also look to attack. Chelsea's next fixture in the Champions League is away then at PK Hecken next week, next Wednesday. Lauren James into Kerr, goes back to James on the edge of the box, runs into traffic, loses the ball. Sophie Ingall picked up by Kafaji up against Nuskin. Good tackle by the German international prevented the counter. She started life to Chelsea well so far after joining from Eintracht Frankfurt. Scored a hat-trick already for Chelsea in the league up against Brighton. Flick around the corner didn't come off from Wrighton. She still got it though. Charles. Into Nuskin. Tries to feed it through to Kirby. Will go for the shot instead. Goal kick for Hecken. Chelsea looking more dangerous in this second half. Still some sloppy mistakes in there. But it does feel like a Chelsea goal is coming. and not managing to hold on to the ball really for any period of time. Brian Kirby leaves it, she would have been offside and out comes Falk. To pick up, oh, rolls it out straight away. Too much on that. Ball from Bergman Lind. Buchanan. Nuskin, substitute. Brighton finds Charles. Charles has players to aim for in the box. Headed clear by Rebrink. Picked up by Jusu Bar. 
Going for a run. Oh, tries to play the square ball into Laresi. Didn't quite get it right. She's looked energetic, though. She's looked bright. Jusu Bass, it's coming on. Kerr has the strength to hold it up. Lauren James tries to play it in for the onrushing Guru Wrighton. Didn't really execute it right. Goal kick. You can see what she was trying to do. Was she trying to go for Charles? Who had a hand up at the back stick calling for it? Lauren James, her brother also plays for Chelsea. Reese James, captain, Chelsea's men's side. The Jameses. Chelsea in their blood. Nuskin. Her through ball cut out. And Vergard up against Charles. Charles wins that duel. Lauren James plays it through for Kerr, out to Nuskin, across the face of goal, James in the box, can she get a shot off? Still going, Lauren James! And across the face of goal, kept him well. Chelsea coming close again, Lauren James at the heart of that move. Carter, out to Perise. Good one, two. Perise to the back stick. Again, no one there. Right and keeps it alive. Chelsea doing well to maintain this pressure. Because for the commentators, I say that they, they see the possession, but they nick it back with Carter. No one up there for Hecken. They're not able to hold the ball up front and, and prevent this relentless Chelsea pressure because they've got nobody up top. They're all camped out in their own half. Perise. Less than 20 minutes remaining, Chelsea nil. Heck and nil still. Chelsea not able to break down this structured Swedish side. Larese. Really good ball to Ambergard. Finds Kosala. Kosala's delivery blocked. Can Hecken have their own spell of attacking pressure? Dinked into the box. Carter will clear. And the effort comes in well, high and wide. The Hecken player down. They want play to stop. Chelsea continue. No rule saying that they need to stop. And the guards back up on her feet. Lauren James. Dinks it into the box for Samka. Samka with the header. But it's offside. The flag is up. It was a really good header, great technique. Goalkeeper was nowhere near it. Let's see this again on the replay then. Lauren James with the delivery. Sam Kerr just drifting a tiny bit offside. No goal for Chelsea still, but they're coming closer. They've hit the bar twice, had that goal disallowed. They're having plenty and plenty of chances here at Stamford Bridge. Yeah. 
Falk goes long. More substitutions in the offing. Guru Wrighton making way. She's looked a tad rusty since coming back from injury. She's been replaced by Aggie Beaver Jones. Academy player at Chelsea. Finally getting her chance this season. Five goals and six league appearances. Yet to score a Champions League goal. Her first Champions League minutes as well in a Chelsea shirt. She's proven to Emma Hayes that she can get goals. She's got the output you need. Can she find it tonight? Get Chelsea that precious goal that they're struggling to get. Jusu Bar, nice ball in field. Picked up by Kafaji. Kafaji, room to run. Plays it through, cut out by Buchanan. Didn't pick the right pass there. She had Jusu Bar to her left. Now Chelsea will go on the attack out, comes the goalkeeper quick. Manages to keep that just inside her own penalty box. Always a worry when, as for a goalkeeper when they are right on the edge of their box and they grab the ball dive as, as they move. I was worried that they're going to dive out their box and handle it. Always have to contort their body to keep the ball just inside the 18-yard box. Beaver Jones can't latch onto that. It's cleared out. Substitution then for the away side. the end of the evening for Clarissa Laresi then. She's being replaced by Aisha Masaka. Like for like change, an attacking player from Tanzania. Can she offer a bit more threat? She's on the ball now, Masaka. Oh, got the shot all wrong. Dribbles out for a goal kick. Buchanan. Forward pass into Kirby. Kirby sprays it out to this right-hand side. Nice play from Chelsea. Rosa Kafaji looking for Masaka. Cut out well by Carter. Samka, gone wide. James goes with the effort straight into the gloves of Falk. We've seen a score from there, though, James. Just saw a little bit of space in front of her and thought she'd pull the trigger. Elsewhere in the Champions League, Paris Saint-Germain lead Roma by two goals to one. And a reminder that earlier in the other group game, in Group D, was Paris FC 2, Real Madrid 1. As things stand in this group, Hecken would stay top with seven points. Chelsea would stay second on five points. Is there a winner, though? 
for either side. Kafaji not got too many options in front of her. Does well to hold it up. Nice bit of work in the middle there. The ball, though, was not deserving of the initial quality touches from Fostalsa Sorensen. It's now hit forward for Lauren James. Falk thought about coming. Went back. James back to Kirby. James running in field. Releases the strike. Got under it though. Out for a goal kick. More changes for Chelsea. Off comes Frank Hervey. To be replaced by Mia Fischel. Signed over this summer from Mexican side, US international, Mia Fischel. So when Emma Hayes leaves Chelsea to manage the USA national women's team, she'll be managed, managing Mia Fischel, Fischel again. Down goes Ambergard, free kick for Hacken. Not much to see in that. See it again from this angle. Free kick for Hacken. Nine minutes remaining, still nil-nil. Chelsea getting frustrated. A pensive Emma Hayes on the touchline. Luke. You'd feel that Hacking would be very, very pleased with a point to remain unbeaten in the Champions League. Kafaji. Her ball cut out by Perise. James sprays it out to Perise. He just couldn't keep it in. Throw in for Hacken. Sums up Chelsea's night, really. They just couldn't keep it in. Just couldn't find that final but that final ball. Just couldn't find that goal. Hit the bar twice. They've had a goal disallowed for a narrow offside. Nuskin. Back to Ingle. Beaver Jones now weaving away through a pack of yellow shirts. Again, another Chelsea attack breaks down. Delivers the ball into the box. Keeper gets it. I think you could hear the shouts of Emma Hayes there. She, I'm not sure if she was saying more passes or longer passes. Bit of cramp for Anvergaard.
Chelsea running out of time here to get the win. Chelsea reached the semi-finals last season, lost 2-1 on aggregate to Barcelona. Runners-up in 2021, lost 4-0 to Barcelona in Gothenburg, that was. Where Chelsea will be next Wednesday to face Hacken again. Looking to banish those memories, that 4-0 loss to Barcelona. And Vergard looks like her evening might be up, or maybe it's just cramp, something that you can recover from. Just a bit of stretching. Beaver Jones brings the ball under control well. Perise, heavy touch lets her down. Jusu Bardas really well there, really calm, composed play. Into Kafaji. Slides it through for Masaka. Masaka now through on goal, flag is up. And the attack comes to a halt. I thought that was a moment, the moment for Hacken to be through. Let's see this on the replay. Kafaji does really well here. She is offside. Sophie Ingle does really, really well to hold her line. Substitution then for Hecken. Off comes Ambergard to be replaced by Schruder, 16 year old. Only 16 years old. Key player though already for Hecken. Felicia Schruder. Beaver Jones did well there. Ball delivered into the box. It's over everyone. Eve Charles can't keep it alive. Chelsea really are running out of time now. It stays as it is, remember. Hacken stay top of the group on seven points. Chelsea will still be second on five. Paris FC on three and Real Madrid bottom on one point. Hecken, the surprise Swedish side. Again, showing what they're all about. They're not just here to make up the numbers. They're here to compete. And they're doing a really good job keeping out English champions. Chelsea are gonna yes, hit it into yes, the box. Yes, yes, yes. Paris say with the delivery. Official across goal again. Beaver Jones tries to turn in the box. It's too crowded. Kerr with the effort. Cleared by a. Number of yellow shirts, corner for Chelsea. There's just too many bodies in the box. Beaver Jones trying to turn through. She had two yellow players around her. Buzzing like wasps. It's a goal kick, in fact. Jennifer Falk will go long. Masaka putting a bit of pressure on Perise. In fact, forcing her over the poor steward and into the advertising hoardings. If you've never been to Stamford Bridge before, it's a very 
It's a rather small ground. It's, it's, it has a capacity for 40,000, but you're very close to the pitch. The pitch is very close to the edge of the advertising hoardings, as you can see. It's just a couple of yards away, and then the fans are very, very close. It's a nice stadium. As a fan, it means you're very near to the action. Chelsea coming forward. Ball into the box. Ingle can't get there. Kerr will keep it alive. Good tackle by Forsala. Carter picks it up for Chelsea. Into the final minute of the 90. Jess Carter. Perisay, 1-2 with Beaver Jones. Chelsea just playing it in this horseshoe from right to left. Beaver Jones, nice skills and footwork. Wins the corner. And we are into the 90 and there is five minutes of additional time. Five minutes for Chelsea to try and find a winner. Try and find a goal that's eluded them all game. They're definitely into double figures on the corners. Can they convert from this one? Perisay with the delivery. Header in from Nuskin, well wide of target. Can direct it goalwards, Nuskin. Hacken holding on. Great touch from Jusu Bar. It's Chelsea coming forward with Lauren James. A couple of step overs, pulls the low shot, cross goal, Fox built it. Hacken will clear. Get the throw in. Fox did just enough. Couldn't hold the shot, but parried it away from goal, not back into the danger area. Throw in for Hacken. Fired downfield. Masaka will chase Jess Carter. Musovic has been a spectator, really, for much of the game. Only having to make a, a few saves, a few simple saves for her. The other Swedish goalkeeper, though, Jennifer Folk, playing a goal for Hacken, made more saves, been very solid. Kept Chelsea out, but a key part of why the score is still nil nil. Jusubar picks it up. Beaver Jones not allowing her the space to run and forcing the error. <laughs> Substitution then for the away side. Rosa Kafaji making way. Star player for Heck and not really able to make her mark on this game this evening. She's replaced by number five, Ruby Grant. Spent 10 years in the Arsenal Academy. Joined last season from North Carolina Tar Heels. English player playing for the Swedish side. Hacken with the throw in. Through to Buchanan. Chelsea looking for a goal, looking for what would be a very late winner. Perisay. 
delivers it into the box. Headed clear. Charles. Nice touch. Her delivery. Again headed clear. Hacken's defending has been immaculate. It really has. Free kick though for Chelsea. In a very dangerous area. Right on the edge of the penalty box. There, a little kick on the back of Charles's heel. Ref tried to play advantage. Didn't materialise. Is this Chelsea's chance? Is it this? Is this Chelsea's moment? Ev Perise. Yet to score for Chelsea this season. Surely she's going to shoot. The walls lined up. The Chelsea fans wait in anticipation. Ev Perise then for Chelsea. Hits it wide. Nowhere near the target. Nowhere near good enough. And that's been Chelsea all evening. Nowhere near good enough. Really poor effort. Falk didn't even move. Watched it sail wide. We've played the five minutes now. As Falk hits it long. And there is the full time whistle then. Chelsea held to a draw by BK Hacker. This Swedish side. They've been the surprise package in this group, proving again how good they are. They sit top of Group D and have earned themselves a draw here at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea had chances. They hit the bar twice. They had a goal disallowed for offside from Sam Kerr, but they just couldn't break down this strong, structured, sturdy Swedish side. Chelsea nil, BK Hacken nil. Chelsea had plenty of chances. Sam Kerr with a volley in the first half on nine minutes. Couldn't find the target. And then Charles hit the side netting after a nice one-two with Frank Kirby. And Chelsea's best chance in the first half coming from Aaron Cuthbert. We started off the move here with Guru Wrighton. Wrighton opting to hit it back across goal rather than shoot the bar. Rattled and Chelsea couldn't score from the follow-up. Sums up how close Chelsea came. Intelligent pass from Wrighton. And that effort so close to going in for Chelsea. Emma Hayes made substitutions in the second half. Couldn't change the game, though. And this chance from Britton Carneridge. Early in the second half, nearly gave Chelsea the lead. But for great goalkeeping from Falk. And Chelsea again came agonisingly close. This time, Sam Kerr striking the bar with a header. Chelsea fans expecting to see the net bulge. And Sam Kerr did have it in the net once from a header. Lovely finish, but the offside flag was up against the Australian.
Quality ball from substitute Lauren James. Offside, though, against Sam Kerr. And in the dying seconds of the game, Chelsea had a great free kick chance. Ev Perise couldn't challenge the goalkeeper, though. Summing up Chelsea's night. Poor execution. The statistics at the end of the game then. Chelsea really dominant in possession. Plenty of attempts. Look, 22 attempts on target. Emma Hayes regroups her Chelsea side. She'll be disappointed not to get all three points. But Chelsea unable to break through BK Hacken. Full-time score at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea nil, BK Hacken nil. Congratulations, still top of the... The UEFA Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Adidas. to Liga FA. Sit back and enjoy. Look at this. That is tremendous. Look at that for a shot and she's found the corner. That's a superb goal. Peloton is more than a bike. It makes strength, boxing, or maybe yoga your new thing. It turns a run into a pretty epic workout. Just maybe not today. It's a common word when you need it most. Begin to relax. And if you need a quick break, it's your perfect escape. It makes working out work out for everyone. This is Peloton. Incisive pass. Vinicius Junior. And on to Bellingham. Sliding strong, wow. Turn around and stick it up, wow, wow. Fine, fine specimen, wow. Drop it down, I'll pick it up, wow, wow. Sponsored by EA Sports FC and Adidas.